<laughs> oh man. You know, we be shitting on Xbox, man. <laughs> we be shitting on Xbox a lot, man. But man, when PlayStation fucks up, I'm sorry, PlayStation fans. Sony ponies. I gotta I gotta hand you the, the hell. Alright, you, you gotta take your L. <laughs> Everybody's getting the L. <laughs> if PlayStation fucks up, I'm gonna be on that ass like white on rice, alright? I'm gonna be like fucking Spider-Man <laughs> when he was chasing the fucking uh, shocker <laughs> in fucking <laughs> the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. <laughs> alright? You can't escape me. I'll chase you to the ends of the earth. <laughs> PlayStation, you done fucked up. But I knew you were gonna do this. <laughs> so for those that don't know, Concora, the PlayStation exclusive live service uh, hero shooter game, has been canceled, or uh, rather, it is going offline, <laughs> starting September the sixth. Um, in their article, their blog post, which I'm gonna just summarize for you, they basically was like, "Hey, you know." Uh, we recognize that there were people that was really enjoying the game, and we thank everyone who's gone out and support the game. However, it didn't really land in, in the expectations that they thought it was going to end, <laughs> which I don't know how they thought this game was going to survive, but okay. Um, and for that, we are taking the game offline. Uh, and if you did purchase it, uh, you'll be getting a refund from both the PS5 and the PC audience. We'll both be getting a refund. Please contact the place where you got the game and you'll be issued in a refund. <laughs> and all I gotta say to this is... <laughs> I don't got much to say. I just gotta laugh because this is the dumbest fucking move PlayStation has ever done. Like I've seen, I've been there for some 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 fucked up moments for PlayStation. <laughs> I've seen PlayStation some taking some L's, bro. Like I've been with them. I think the biggest L I remember them taking was the fucking online uh, infrastructure getting hacked back in the PS3 era. Uh, the Insomniac hack, you know, that was that was a pretty bad one. But this shit takes the case. This is the fucking worst L I've seen PlayStation take it quite a bit. All right. We joke on Xbox a lot, but PlayStation deserved this L because no one asked for this fucking game. And I know there's going to be Comcore fans that really fucking love this game. I know it. I know it. I know it. But I'm sorry, guys. Y'all just got to take this L. The game failed. None of you motherfuckers were playing this shit. Not enough. You know, I think Last of Us Factions, an old ass fucking multiplayer game. I guarantee you, if I boot that shit up right now, more people are playing that shit than this shit. The most fucking players this game had in 24 hours was a hundred plus people. That is fucking horrible for a live service game that is dependent on players to keep it alive. That is fucking horrendously bad. I guarantee you, if I go on fucking Ghost of Tsushima's multiplayer, I can find people playing that shit right now. Comcore? <laughs> that shit is like a fucking ghost town. No one's playing that shit. <laughs> And the writing was on the wall. I, I, I've said this before and I'll say it again. You know, the reason why this game was going to fail is because one, PlayStation has conditioned their audience to look for single player experience. What is the PlayStation brand? S single player experience. And now you're jumping sh the shark and going straight into multiplayer. That was a bad idea. So this payday that's coming out soon from another studio, that shit is worrying, <laughs> all right? And I wouldn't be surprised if that game don't survive. 
because nobody on the PlayStation community is really fucking with multiplayer games. Not saying we don't want them, but you really, really, really have to think outside of the box if you really want people to fucking get in multiplayer. And Concord did not do that. I said this numerous times. Concord, as much as I was like, oh, this is, might work and all that. The fact of the matter is, Concord wasn't original enough to get people to jump on board. Not even me. I was like, oh, I don't even mind the Guardians of the Galaxy character designs and whatnot. Even though it, 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 it's not clicking in, I'll get into why the game, in terms of the character designs, failed. But it was just generally the gameplay. Looking at it, there was nothing that really made it unique or stand out except, well, characters are aliens and shit and whatnot and it's like and look realistic i'm like that's cool but what is it that's gonna make your game really entice people and what made it worse is that you ask people to fucking pay for it <laughs> no one in this day and age 2024 is asking people to pay 40 fucking dollars for a hero shooter game. Not even Overwatch. Overwatch 2, which is a fucking crime, <laughs> is charging for that shit. Live service games are very competitive. And if you're not doing something that is unique or interesting, people aren't going to fuck with it. <laughs> All right. And most of the live service games that are like the ones that are standing the test of time. That's really doing some big dick energy shit. Those games are free to play. Why the fuck would anybody pay for Concord? All you dickheads <laughs> that pay for this fucking game. All you dickheads that pay for this game. Y'all some fucking idiots. Y'all some fucking idiots. Alright. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't even want to be mean. But I got to be. Whoever paid for this shit is a dickhead like yo <laughs> this isn't like an avengers shit where it's like oh you can hope the game got better and like it's mcu so it's like marvel shit so you know like it probably will get better and it's like the hope that it will get better as it went along but no <laughs> no 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 this was dead on arrival uh this was gonna be dead on arrival and i, I knew it i knew it and you know what's so funny though fucking sony wasted like fucking billions millions of dollars for eight years on this fucking project <laughs> eight fucking years on this fucking project when we could have got a jack and daxter four we could have got Sly Cooper 4. We could have got a Resistance multiplayer game. We could have got Killzone multiplayer game. We could have got an Uncharted multiplayer game. We could have got a uh, fucking... <laughs> oh my goodness. You could have asked Capcom to fucking like, hey, like we'll fucking budget, uh, give you money to make a fucking Onimusha multiplayer game or Devil May Cry fucking multiplayer game. And you guys said, nah, let's let's take these Guardians of the Galaxy ripoffs and let's make a game off of it. <laughs> Factions 2. <laughs> Factions 2, the game that everybody fucking wanted, died. <laughs> so Concord could fucking die. What the fuck? <laughs> the game that people have been dying and waiting for, that could have been taking all that money to open up another studio. Or given in to fucking Naughty Dog to make another game. You decided to waste it on this shit. 
you could have gave fire fire walk studio the, the last of us ip rights to make a multiplayer game or to help on with factions and you wasted them on this piece of shit <laughs> you could have said insomniac hey yo you know that great web game multiplayer game you were working on that that that, that would have been the easiest fucking win of all time for playstation even though i didn't personally think it was a good idea to do that game just yet you could have funded that fucking money to put it into that game <laughs> and instead you decided to cancel it again stupid fucking decisions over at fucking over at over at only positive that came out of this fucking whole bullshit was you know people are getting refunds and for those who bought the game y'all are so fucking lucky you're getting refunds because this shit is hilarious this is an epic fail you know and you know i a lot of people will blame it on a lot of things but hey man you know i just think again originality was not in the in the cards with this game the game did not feel original uh at all it did not do anything original uh, i i know it had tight gunplay that's cool but tight gunplay isn't good enough all right where you can literally go and play destiny 2 right now and that has phenomenal uh, gunplay and better yet that's also by playstation and playstation can't even get bungee fucking right because they're laying off people over at bungee so again <laughs> why again <laughs> why the fuck did anybody think this was going to be a good idea uh you know in terms of character designs, you know, people would say that's a failure, and I would say that is also kind of like, you know, the big contentions of this game and why it failed was the character design. But I would also go as far as to say art direction as well. Like, when you think about looter shooters, you know, you think about characters and art, art direction. And when I look at the character designs for Codcore, they just look so fucking generic. Like, I'm talking about characters just look just bland. Like, Guardians of the Galaxy ripoff. Everyone's been saying that, but it really is true. Like, none of these characters really pop or make you be like, oh, wow, I'm interesting and see this character it felt like they made these characters and 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 i hate to get on this whole culture world bullshit where it's like everything's woke and all that but it just felt like they just tried way too hard to appeal to 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 everybody instead of finding out less how to make this character look cool or interesting you know look at overwatch and people would would say like well, why is it Overwatch um, regard as being a great live service hero shooter, but this game failed when it did the same thing? Well, you got to look at it. First of all, when Overwatch came out, we ain't never had like really a hero shooter game like it in quite a long time. So it was really refreshing. Second of all, the art design and like how characters and environments and whatnot look was very very cool and very very nice hell they was even making like animated shorts which this game was trying to do but whatever uh and i think the most important thing about overwatch is that the characters looked awesome like every one of those characters from tracer all of them like everybody just popped um just every time you see them you just like wow like these characters are pop as fuck and there's this great youtube video which i'm gonna put on the put a link in the description box below what is one guy just compares and contrasts 
um, the character designs and models of Concord to Overwatch, and he breaks it down so beautifully why it, why um, like Overwatch character designs. And I think the one part of the video that stood out to me the most is when he talks about like how uh, if you blur the two images of an Overwatch character and a Concord character, and you just blur the image which one stands out the most which one instantly pops to you and all the time i was just like the overwatch characters just the way how the characters look and feel the look of those characters are just oh wow like you like you make me want to learn more about you and if you do not have characters that's like that your game is going to fail if you do not for a hero shooter your game is going to fail that's automatically a fail you have to have characters that speak to the audience in some way or form this is why the here this is why fucking overwatch despite overwatch 2 being a clusterfuck that game is a clusterfuck that is literally just uh overwatch 1.5 and broken promises the characters is what makes overwatch overwatch <laughs> this is why I was so upset that they couldn't do the single player expansion for that game because I really want to learn and play with those characters you know <laughs> it's just sad you know it's it's really sad what's happened to Concord I can't even like a lot of people are gonna say like oh uh, the developers I feel bad or no oh, I'm gonna be real this is one time I do not feel bad about the developers because even developers had to have been like yo like like they had to have seen the writing on the wall like this is not awesome like eight years of developing this shit motherfuckers and I, again I can tell you know I can tell that this this game was in eight years because character models were great but again, there's nothing that stands out on this game, you know? Take, for instance, and I'm going to use a, a perfect fucking example, and this is probably a bad example because it's the IP. Um, they're leaning into the Marvel IP, but Marvel Rivals characters look, character designs look fucking awesome, and character, and I don't know if anybody's seen, like, the, the environments, but look at these, look look at how these character models like I, look at the character models in this in this fucking game like everyone looks fucking epic like you have to have something that just speaks to people and i didn't feel that with crime core like look at captain america bro he looks so anime <laughs> he looks he looks so anime and again if it was just a normal like cap i probably wouldn't care but look at what's what these characters look like look at thor bro look at fucking thor bro this motherfucker looks like he bench presses fucking ten thousand pounds of weights bro this man looks raw he looks like fucking odin he looks fucking sick all right <laughs> Look at T'Challa, bro. T'Challa looks such... He looks raw as fuck. He looks intimidating. If you pull up to this T'Challa, he looks like he will fuck you and your girl right in front of you, bro. He looks like he will snatch your girl, fuck her right in front of you, and then beat the shit out of you and just be like, <laughs> Wakanda forever, baby. <laughs> he looked like he give off big dick energy. Just roll. <laughs> he looks like he give off big dick energy 24-7. Even when he's sleeping, big dick energy is just forming around him. <laughs> like, look at the character arts, bro. They are fucking awesome. Look at fucking Scarlet Witch, bro. Scarlet Witch look at the fucking villain over here, bro. Which plays into her character from the comics like she started off as a villain in the comics hell in the, in the movie in the mcu she started off as a villain or an antagonist so it makes sense that she looks like this bro but <laughs> like these character models are fucking awesome 
what the fuck does Concord has? Like, and again, maybe it's not a fair comparison, but again, you see how what's making that game stand out and what people's talking about with Marvel Rivals is that the character designs are awesome, the character designs are awesome, and people who played the game said the gameplay is so fucking cool. But again, they're you have to have something that pops and i just didn't think that would concord concord just let everybody down on that so again i'm not surprised about this i would say good riddance i don't feel even bad about the the game developers spending eight years and wasting eight years somebody should have stepped in and be like this is not working this is fucking stupid and let's do something completely different and try something completely different like i don't know who thought this shit was a good idea i don't know why sony thought this was a good idea and i'm telling you right now concord is just the beginning concord is just the beginning all right there's gonna be plenty more flops the only one that has succeeded is hell divers 2 and the only reason hell divers 2 succeeded is because that game was not thought of as a live service game all right that was just a multiplayer only game that wasn't trying to be a live service and had year to years to years to come of content which is why you're seeing that game kind of dwindle now because they only was focusing on making a cool ass uh, multiplayer little game and that's fine you know even though that game's not doing all too well you know why that's okay that it's not doing well now because it had a huge cult following and everyone who played it and walked out playing it said it was a fucking banging ass game and that's all you want so when you make the sequel people's excited for the next uh hell divers 3 you know the next game in the franchise you want to walk out with good memories of your of your multiplayer game what good memories are you, is anybody gonna come out of fucking concord and i know what people's gonna say well oh maybe if they pull it down and make it free to play is gonna save it i fucking doubt it this isn't a final fantasy 14 situation where there was some elements of the game that was really good but just it just needed a whole overhaul and it made it better again that's putting more money into a fucking dreadful shit all right and i don't know if playstation is willing to put enough money into it because fucking ea didn't have that same attitude when fucking anthem did fucking horrible when anthem did bad ea was like we're gonna try and fix it and then they were like eh why are we spending more money when we can fucking put more maddens and more uh 2ks and all, all that bullshit out when we could like nickel and dime people in other games and make more money instead of relying on this shit which people clearly is not fucking with now nah, let's let's just move on <laughs> so again they would have they would have to re do all the character designs, redo all the, the the vignettes, the videos and whatnot, really make the characters pop out, have better, and that's another thing, better marketing. They would have to do all of that, and that's more money. Why would I waste more money on this shit? I would just take the fucking big ass L, cry about it, and just say, okay, now we moving on, let's give people what they want. <laughs> all right, it's just fucking stupid. Like, I'm tired of people just being stupid on this fucking, on this fucking websites, on Twitter, and everybody's like, oh, just fucking, just shut it down and put it back up. It's not going to save it, alright? And this isn't like a Destiny 2 or, or Destiny situation where, the, where, where the storyline and everything and whatnot is so fucking horrible, but the core foundation of the gameplay is so fucking good. That is enough people to keep it around. This didn't even have enough people to keep it around. So again, I don't get this bullshit. So my final thing is, will be this. And I'm going to wrap this shit up. Concord was a fucking disaster. It was a disaster coming. It was like a 
burling fucking heat up pile of shit waiting waiting for us to be thrown in our face when we all fucking knew it stop lying if you thought this game was gonna be great we all knew it was gonna be trash i'm just surprised it took this this fast of an execution but i'm glad it's gone get it the fuck out of here so we can focus on making better and more interesting multiplayer games that people really want or better yet let's just fix and focus on what playstation is known for single player story driven narrative games let's stop this fucking nonsense of trying to get multiplayer games and let's think about how we can improve our single player content then let's see if we can do a little bit of multiplayer but our core foundation the core reason why people play playstation games is for single player experience naughty dog recognized this shit why the fuck didn't sony recognize this shit and if we are going to do multiplayer why aren't we using ips that we already know people are guaranteed to fucking play for like the spider-man multiplayer that was canceled and the fucking last of us 2 multiplayer that was canceled and let's invest resources into those because those are safe fucking bets then whatever the fuck this garbage ass fucking la uh fucking guardians of the galaxy ripoff game was so good riddance have a good fucking day fuck this game and that is all i'm gonna say for that with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video if you're new to the channel please comment rate subscribe all that fun stuff let me know what you think of concord if you played it let me know your experience if you did not play it uh, how do you feel about it going offline and if it does come back will you be playing it they would have to pull some bullshit out their ass in order for me to fucking play this shit. So, you know, it is what it is. Only time will tell, but PlayStation, you deserve this fucking L. Anyway. Please comment, please comment, rate, subscribe. All that fun stuff. Until next time, guys. Stay safe and have a good one.